face recognition. Now, if you want to recognize, I mean, human beings are very good at recognizing faces, computers not so much, um, because it's very difficult to take an image, a photograph, and compare it to something else bit for bit. It doesn't work. You somehow have to understand the image uh, to be able to say this is the same person or this isn't. So what happens is um, that we somehow extract the shape or pattern or positioning of these various features. So again, just like with a fingerprint, you, do, you don't do a, an image matching. You extract some features, and as you can see in these, in these, in these images here, um, you extract face geometry. So you identify the various points on the face, where the nose is, the, the eyes, and so on. And then you build a map which shows these relationships. So the relationship between the eyes and the nose and the length of um, size of the mouth and so on. And this is the image. It's not the image itself that is stored. It is this map, these relationships of these various features that is stored in the database. And so each time you do a, a face matching, so in the airport when somebody walks through and somebody takes a picture, um, the computer extracts these lines, computes these ratios, and compares it to the database. It's not a matching of, of a picture to a picture, which doesn't work. Um, the advantage of this is it's passive, so you don't have to ask a person's permission, at least not from a technical uh, standpoint. You can just take an image and, and see it. That's why it's used in airports uh, to scan uh, who, who comes in and out. But it is a very highly complex technology. It's, um, it's, it's, not, very, uh, it's not very accurate and it's complicated in terms of computational uh, intensity.